Welcome to What is Multiplication? It's our first opportunity to talk about multiplication. You will see that there is no notebook tag because the only way you're doing this as a video lesson is if you are working ahead or reviewing. If you are doing something else, then you're in the wrong place. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about what is multiplying and how is multiplying related to addition? Well, every little kid can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But when you sit down with those little kids and ask them, give me five things or give me three things, they just look at you funny or they just hand you a bunch of something. A lot of kids can scream their counting numbers, but they don't understand that four means four things or seven means seven things. I say all this because a lot of kids are going, I already know how to multiply. And what I want to say to you is that memorizing something and understanding it are not the same thing. The little kid that can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, but doesn't get 7, doesn't get counting. I don't want you to be like that with your multiplication. So you've probably already memorized 2 times 3 is 6. But what does that mean? Well, some teachers I know would read that as 2 taken three times is six because what's happening is you have two things in a group and then three groups or if I wanted to represent that numerically you would have whoop, there's one group and there's one group and there's one group, right? Two plus two plus two. And you know that that makes a total of six objects. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three groups of two, two plus two plus two. And writing it out that way is not a big deal if you're working with small numbers. But you're not always working with small numbers. What if you're working with bigger, bigger ones? Seven taken eight times would be seven plus 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 seven. That's a lot of plus sevens. It's hard to keep up with. And I even started to make eight groups of seven and decided it was too much hassle. So what we decided to do is rather than write seven plus 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 seven was to simply write it out as seven taken eight times, which happens to be 56. Okay, or worse yet, what if you have 6 taken 31 times? I'm not going to sit here and write out 6 31 times, and besides, trying to count by 6 that far will make you crazy. So we write it 6 taken 31 times. It means that there are 31 groups of 6. So what does that all mean? Well, let's drop this into your notebook. Multiplication is repeated addition. And if I look at the equation, 6 times 3 is 18, it means that there are 6 things. There are 3 groups of those 6 things, that there's a total of 18 things in front of you. And you'll remember from last week that 6 and 3 are factors, and that 18 is a product. So today we answered the questions what is multiplying and how is it related to addition if you have questions about the questions you'll want to jot those down and come see me